Oh, hey there. I didn't see you come in. You know, I think it's been a couple weeks since we've been lost on a tangent machine build, so a while ago I saw this, uh, link in the down under, and realized I didn't really enjoy doing this. So I want to make my own version, plus I think it would be cool to be able to use some interchangeable platforms for some special stuff. Um, you know, more on that later. Uh, Dale calls this a slow speed grinder, so let's make this a slow speed video. Sit back, relax, and dream of micrograin carbide blanks.
I am afraid this is as far as I can get for this episode. It's been a... Oh, come on. This is the exact same code that worked five minutes ago. Heck of a week. Uh, we'll finish this one up soon, though. I was hoping maybe we could have a little dialogue about that. Right, uh, Gareth asks, where did you get one of those electronic enclosures? I'm doing a similar project and I need one. Uh, unfortunately, eBay. And I say unfortunately because I can't find another one. Uh, I guess we'll link to the manufacturer. The important part is it's called a NEMA enclosure, N-E-M-A. Yep, and they're awesome. Uh, hey, aren't you doing that other thing from now on? Yeah. Uh, Jimmy G from Dayton says, do mine eyes deceive or are there two PMs in the garage? Are you going to CNC the second one after you perfect the first one? That's a good question. There are in fact two Precision Matthews machines in the garage now. We bought the big one specifically to CNC, but I don't think we have any plans to CNC a small one. No, actually the little PM25 is exactly what I've always wanted and I really enjoy it. We've got a link in the thing to the episode about that one. Oh, yeah. um, I don't think I'd change a thing. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. The one thing we might change is the, the tool changer. We've yeah. learned a lot since we did the CNC and I like that one a lot better. Okay. You know, if we're gonna do that, maybe we could add a motor to the Z. It's kind of hard to crank. And if we're gonna add a motor, we might as well put one on the X. And then if you got two motors, you do three, hook up a computer, the whole thing could be CNC. Chop Built says, I love the build. Not sure if you're planning on building an enclosure or not, but we would highly recommend it. Um, Mike might have already launched some chips like 20 feet across the garage while testing something, so yes, definitely on an enclosure. Yeah, for sure. That's actually a much bigger project in itself, and we are going to get to that. I'm doing the design work for it now. Uh, it's going to be kind of a big deal. Max Maker says, I love that box. My CNC is running from a cheap wooden wine crate. Uh, can we just send him one of these extra cabinets? Yeah, I don't see why not. Actually, if you guys don't know Max Maker, he does an awesome podcast where he interviews people like Jimmy Duresta and Laura Kempf. And us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, link in the sink. Sidewinder1599997266663 weeks ago says, uh, <laughs> where's the e-stop? Should I do that one again? No, it's working. <laughs> we're, we're rolling. We're keeping this one. Uh, it's on a long cord so that when things go terribly bad, we're nowhere close to the machine right now until we get an enclosure. Gross generalization, that is a cool name. Uh, vibrations can be very severe and will shorten the life of your electronics. Okay, so this is in reference to us mounting the cabinet directly to the Z column on the machine. Uh, it's true, it'll give it some vibration, um, but you know, we're not the first to do it. In fact, I think all the Tormach machines mount their cabinets directly to the Z column too. I think so. So, good luck to us. Yeah. All right, uh, Burning Diesel Production says, uh, nice progress, guys. Now that I see your quill on the RF45 is taken off, if you don't want to reinstall it back, I would love to share my design on a quill anchor with you. Um, yeah, let us know. Actually, there's a whole lot of problems with the head design that I think we want to address, so anything along those lines. Yeah, we'll cover that in a future episode. Uh, Paul Neely says, one vote for keeping the death metal unicorn. Link in the sink. We're gonna we're gonna revolutionize the name of the doobly doo. <laughs>